Welcome back to the channel. So this week, we're going to be talking about the beurre blanc, which is the warm emulsified sauce. It is a, an emulsified butter. It is a simple sauce you use with fish, uh, made with a reduction of shallots, white wine vinegar, and usually pieces of butter. Now, a lot of time, because of temperature control, it can fail and you end up with like a melted butter, which is really annoying. One of our students is actually struggling with this, so I thought I'm going to give you a foolproof method uh, that use an addition of cream. The cream really helps to stabilize the whole lot and I'm going to go further and give you all the details about the different methods you can use when you whisk that butter. Do you need to use cold butter or room temperature butter? That sort of things and how to do it in the restaurant. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So let's talk about that uh, famous or infamous beurre blanc and uh, first off, what are the two differences? You've got two names, beurre blanc and beurre nantais, which translate as the butter from the town of Nantes in Brittany. Uh, the difference there is between the two, the main one, I would say, for the beurre nantais compared to the beurre blanc, is that the beurre nantais, the shallot stays in the sauce. So keep in mind, when you make a beurre nantais, it's like, ah yes, the shallots, I'm not discarding the shallots. And the beurre blanc, on the other hand, you have to pass the sauce for a sieve, you press the, ju the juice of the shallots through the sauce, but you discard the shallots. That's one of the main difference. Beurre nantais is also made mostly, most of the time, with a salted butter. Okay, very important. And the produce you use, like the shallots and the wine, have to come from the region near the town of Nantes. It is a bit of a regional battle. There is like, how do you make the, the, the butter in Brittany? How do you make it in the Loire Valley? You know, uh, how do you make maybe near Paris? So there's different names. But at the end of the day, they're pretty much similar. What we're going to be talking about here is the difficulty that sometimes you're going to have to emulsify the whole lot when you only have the liquid and the butter. It can very quickly break, fall apart because the butter melts and you ruin your sauce, okay? So we're going to use today, uh, an ingredient is not always used, which is cream. And cream is really the way to make that process really foolproof. It absolutely helps avoiding that big problem where the butter just melts away and disappears, okay? That's for the basic. In terms of technique, I did mention I'm going to be talking about the techniques. There is a big question. Do I use a very cold butter that is out of the fridge, it's solid and cold, or do I use a butter that is at room temperature? And what is the difference between the two? It all depends on how you're going to incorporate your butter in the pan and the temperature you're going to be using. If you use a soft butter at room temperature, you're going to have to make sure that at all time your pan on the stove does not go above 45 degrees Celsius, and you're going to be whisking in the butter bit by bit, create your emulsion. Okay, so that's when you use the butter at room temperature. It's a technique that works. What we're going to do today is the easiest technique that is sometimes used in restaurants, meaning we're going to reduce everything, put the cream, bring everything to the boil, and you almost add all of the butter at once of the heat, mixing vigorously in an instant to get your sauce, and you're done. Your season, you put your seasoning, uh, your cayenne pepper if you want, your, your white pepper, your salt, and that's it. Okay, so that's for the technicalities of it. Now, let's get to the stove and make that sauce. And now let's make the recipes. We're going to be starting with a pan. I'm using a rounded sauté pan. And we've got here a mix of white wine vinegar. You'll find all the uh, ingredients listed in the recipe card or the video description. The wine, usually you use a dried wine. Okay, and then you have the shallots. Remember here, we're making a bit of a cross of a beurre blanc and beurre nantais because I'm going to use the cream, but we're going to keep the shallots. So from here, high heat. And all what we're going to do is reduce that mixture until barely any liquid is left. So maybe perhaps a tablespoon or half a tablespoon worth of it, that's it. Perfect. So as you can see, the liquid is almost gone, it's almost dry, and usually it is then that you start putting your butter. But because there is so little liquid, it renders the emulsification process very hard. But here, this is the trick. You're now going to add cream, so you're going to have much more liquid in there. We're still going to reduce it for a minute or so. So I've got my liquid, it was almost dry, maybe half a tablespoon left. And now I'm going to reduce that cream further by half. All right, here we are. Almost done. As you can see, the temperature here is boiling. It's almost 100 degrees and I'm going to use a silicone whisk 
just because I'm taking care of your ears, because metal against metal, you're gonna be like, ah, the noise. So it's a bit risky for me to use a silicone whisk, but we're, giving, uh, we're gonna give it a try. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna turn the heat off here. And what they do in the restaurant, is they put almost all the butter at once. We're gonna try to go in two times. So the heat is off. And all what we're gonna do here is to start melting the butter. And it's a vigorous whisking, so I can't whisk too fast right here because you see the, uh, the pan here and the whisk is a bit soft and it's still a piece of butter. But as soon as I can, boom, I'm gonna accelerate and I'm gonna add the rest of the butter. Okay, I've put the heat back to extremely low and up I'm putting the, the rest of the butter and that's gonna be it. The reason I'm putting my heat there on the extremely low is to avoid because my beer is super cold. But it's just to show you. All what we're doing is melting the butter and as soon as it's melted, that's it. We're turning the heat off, we're adding the seasoning and the sauce is ready. And I'm keeping you on the camera here so that you don't, you're gonna think, oh, there's a trick. <laughs> He's doing a trick now. There's really no trick. And as you can see, sorry for the mess, the uh, sauce is very full of shallots and we're gonna keep these shallots. Okay, so we're almost done. Yeah, okay, it's melting away. And that's gonna be it. We're gonna be done. It's that simple. See, it's not hard. And that's it. Everything is melted. I'm not gonna go any further than that. Okay, this is the sauce I've got. Look at the consistency. This is the beurre blanc that is ready. And it's not a melted butter or anything. And you're done. I'm gonna turn my heat off, adjust the seasoning, and that's it. Now, once you're finished with your beurre blanc, don't fall into the trap. If you use salted butter like me, don't add salt. Huh? You only add salt if you use normal, uh, <coughs> normal butter. A little bit of cayenne pepper or pimientos, and of course, if you want, a little bit of white pepper. And that's it. You mix the whole lot, and you sauce beurre blanc is ready and you're going to be serving this with fish and that's it now let's wrap up that video so here we are the beurre blanc is there with the cream you can keep it at 40 degrees or something like that uh, with a bain-marie at very low temperature a little bit longer but it is meant to be served immediately and so uh, like the, the beurre nantais we're going to keep you see this is the consistency of the sauce we're going to keep uh, the shallots in okay and for instance, here on a, on a service for the table, I will um, use that little thing there and we can have a little closer look at it. So here we are, the final look at the beurre blanc. If you're not familiar with that sauce, it's a butter sauce that is served exclusively with fish. So delicate fish, a sole, a cod, a, fl a flaky fish. And you can also, of course, use salmon. You have to use the sauce straight away. Don't, don't wait and you can add some cayenne pepper on top. And the quality of the ingredients here, the butter, the wine and the vinegar are going to define the quality of the sauce. A dry wine uh, is usually recommended, maybe a Sauvignon Blanc, something from the Loire Valley, a Muscadet, but you can also get away with a Chardonnay, with something a bit more, um, you know, some sweet notes to it. Uh, and you can see the consistency here, which is the technique from the Bernante. We're keeping the shallots. So it adds some texture to the sauce. It adds a bite. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Mm-hmm, yeah, okay. And the balance between the acidity and the fat of the butter is the key. And this is why, how you define, okay, what is a successful sauce? When it comes to the salted butter here, I have to say that sometimes I'm not a fan because it's kind of really almost predefined the amount of salt. So if you don't like it too salty, then you're stuck with it. It's not overly salty, but you know, sometimes I, feel, oh, I kind of like to work with a classic sweet butter and add my own seasoning, but hey, this is a personal choice. But that's it, that completes the video for the beurre blanc. Uh, before I go, I would say that if it still fails with a technique, which is most unlikely, you can just add a little bit more of lukewarm water and whisk everything again. It should get things back on track. Join me next week for the explanation of the sauce classification, the new one. I will explain why today the old classification of mother sauce is not really relevant. That's going to be interesting. See you all next week. Bye.